identity, it can be also looked from a, from, from different perspective, from different angles, from different faiths. Lakini leo tutaangalia, 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 tutaangalia kwenye some of the things, from maybe psychological point of view, from the history point of view, but also we will go deeper from the Bible point of view. Sasa, tunapozumuza habari ya identity, tunapozumuza habari ya identity, tunazumuza habari ya identity is qualities, ni sifa, is qualities that define somebody, that express someone. You can talk of qualities, you can talk of beliefs, you can talk of personalities, all these expressions in our expression to our living. Na, 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 na identity ya mtu, kama ambago ni mesema awali, inaweza kum, inaweza kum, kumbadisha, like today, leo likuwa ni kiangalia some of the clips. I wish you could have a na, na presentation of like, like next time maybe I'll have to I'll have to prepare. And you could have a one of the clips ya dada pumpe ya from Asia. Kuyo dada ame ame grow beer, ame, ame grow nev. Yani siyo kwa ba ame fanya intention no. Kapi ba sa mezaliwa hivyo na nevu zina ota mara ya kwanza li jaribu kuzinyoha ka jaribu kuku kuonekana kuweka uso wa wa, 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 wa binti lakini miaka ilivyo and as the years went on she failed it she failed it to maintain she failed it to maintain the the the, the face of the of, 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 of a female na naenda kusikika kama sisikiki mna ni mtoni una ni text message Unani unani ani kama sisi kama niko nimeenda off you better sawa so, ina shida ina shida pasta ina shida tuko pamoja sasa sasa huyu binti alijaribu also so far of attempt kuhakikisha kwamba anabakia binti lakini lakini hormones zake zimekataa ana grow beard kama mwanaume baadaye akajikubali akasema this is me and this is how i i am akajia akajikubali at one point she decided to to commit suicide something that she did to perform but eventually from the support of the of the of the counselors from the support of uh, of family members she accepted herself na kaendelea she is a teacher she is doing fine in her job nazungumzia habari ya identity kwa identity inaweza ikakuharibu kabisa some some of the people they wish wange kuwa wazun others they wish wange zaliwa america others others they wish wange zaliwa europe others they wish they could be born in in, in africa utashangaa kwamba there are some wazungus feel like it's better that we were born in africa now as like some of africans think that it's better to be born in europe mtu mmoja mjinga sana akasema kwamba ni afadhali kuzaliwa mbwa ulaya kuliko kuzaliwa binadamu wa Afrika. Wao ni upuzi mkubwa kabisa. Ambao I don't accept it completely. Kweli, kweli. Kwamba afadhali kuzaliwa mbwa yoro, wao ni upumbavu na ni ujinga. Kweli. Kwa hiyo identity inasumbua. That's why you see thousands if not hundreds thousands of African young people are crossing Mediterranean Sea to go to the other side of the world to find a better life. But my question is African young people why should you, why can't we transform our African continent why can't we transform our Africa our land our soil the place where there is abundance of resources the place where there is abundance of seeds why can't we re reform the, the African continent why should we admire other people's life why should we admire Americans why should we admire Europe why, why can't we make Africa greater and far much greater to the extent that Europe and the other part of the world could wish to be born in Africa? That is the issue of identity. Like kama watu angalijua kwamba 
kukubali utambulisho wako ni kitu kikubwa sana katika maisha ukubali kwamba wewe ni Mwafrika kubali umezaliwa Afrika kubali you have a greater contribution that you can make it to Africa and may I use this forum kwa sababu the, uh, Tanzania sasa hivi we are going to the election this is the election season it is the election season 2022 our friends our neighbors Kenya they will also go for election I may I use this platform young people get involved in social matters of your country don't shy away don't retreat don't say say detract yourself from what is happening if god has given him capacity and the capability to become a leader go for it there's nothing that will come on silver plate there's nothing that will be brought in the silver plate you need to work for it you need to make sure that you struggle you make sure that you suffer for it if you if you if you will not make things happen then other people they will make things happen and they might make things happen not on in your way but in their way and if they make things happen in their way maybe it will not be pleasing that's why i'm appealing to all of us i'm appealing to the generation of young people it is high time that we transform our, our africa you may talk of the government you may talk of so many community community organization you may talk of so many organizations out there non government organization but i know the true change begin with you and it begins with me if we can change our mentality if we can change the way we think of our identity we will make africa a, pre- a great place we will make africa a great continent that everybody admires to be in africa so kuna 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 identity imegawanyika 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 kuna watu wamegawana identity wamegawana from the psychological point of view from social science from history from philosophy but nizungumze hiki tu ya watu wa identity easy 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 layers of layers of identity layers of identity uh, Erickson Erickson is the one of the scholar who coined or who came up with the issue of identity from the from the psychological from the, the psych- psychology discipline and uh, from his point of view he thought that the issue of identity it's a matter of psychology it's the matter of how a person perceives it it depends on how someone define it so if it is a matter of of your brain it's the matter of your mind if you accept it, what do you want to accept it, then it will affect you and uh, and uh, and uh, he developed the layers of, of of identity one of the layers aliweka layers ya refusal we have people people who cannot just adopt in anything we can tunaweza kusema hawa ni watu conservative people who cannot change who, who people who can say this is it and this is what i believe and this should be this and ndio utavuta watu ambao watu wa namna hiyo hata hawezi kulogi ni kwenye zoom kwa sababu wanasema haya ni mambo ya kisasa yanaharibu time hao ni hao ni watu ambao wana matatizo ya identity wanakuambia i better remain with my 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 analog uh, smart uh, not analog phone so smart phone ile ni ni simu jinga kwa sababu kama kuna simu jinga then kuna simu jinga so somebody get in touch with his simu jinga ataki kuwa smart hao ni wana wako kwenye lea ya refusa people who are so much attached, attached with the with the mediocre kind of life uh, they cannot transform they cannot migrate from analog to digital they cannot migrate from the old fashions of life to the new fashion of life more especially najua hapa watu wengi ni wa adventist time some they are not 
but for the most adventist hour ni watu wanasema hizi ni dalili za siku za mwisho i cannot live in dalili za siku za mwisho wao ni refuser those are in the layer of refuser but there's another layer which is called drifter uh drifter these are the these are the the the, the cross breeding of of refuser uh they yes they can accept the change lakini wanaweza ku wanaweza kupotea uh, these are the people who can say i think that yes this is good yeah yeah it's good but they will not do it they will not do it then we have another layer which is searcher these are the people who really dig deeper in whatever is happening eh uh, wana wanasema kama kama ni kitu kimetokea they will need to do a bit of research eh yani kuna watu hapa hata ukiwaambia kitu wanasema let look let me look at it hawa hawa nao ni 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 watu wengine ambao wanaweza hata wakaja wakasema hicho ulichosema sio kweli and they will always prove something and if they prove you wrong they will let you know lakini bahati mbaya hawa searchers if they prove you right they will not tell you most of them if they prove you wrong watakulipua lakini waki waki wakigundua ni kweli wataka kimya hawawezi kusema bwana this man was right huyu jamaa alikuwa anasema kweli eh kwa hiyo ukiona tu una deal na mtu ambaye anakuambia hiyo kitu nimeifanyia research it's not the way it is unjoe your research alafu kuna watu ambao ni layer nyingine inaitwa guardian these are the people who are possessing clear personal values and the attitude uh but they also have a very deep fear of change hawa watakwambia these things are not usivichukulie haraka haraka sana go slow young man go slow hawa ni guardian na wengi wao hawa ni wengi hawa ni ile generation inayoitwa boomers hii generation boomers ni generation ya kuanzia kuanzia mwaka sabini na tisa kurudi nyuma hao ni boomers alafu tuna tuna millennia hawa ni kuanzia 80 mpaka kuja huku alafu kuna generation ya kwenu hii most of the guys who are here these are dot com generation hawa ni generation y ambao wako wako vizuri sasa hawa boomers ambao ni bbc born before computer hawa wengi they can have values and attitude but they deeply fear to change alafu kuna resolver resolver they will always desire to grow kwa hiyo these are the identity these are the layers of of identity i don't want to take much time kwa sababu najua kuna maswali yatakuja but neno la mungu linasemaje kuhusiana na identity there is a very familiar biblical text which is is a uh, is known almost to every christian the the text that was penned down by peter katika kitabu kile cha petro wa pili tisa fungu la 10 la tisa hadi la 10 petro wa kwanza mbili first peter chapter 2 verse 9 to 10 first peter chapter 2 verse 9 to 10 peter anasema hivi you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation a people belonging to god that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light once you were not a people but now you are the people of god once you had not received mercy but now you have received mercy peter peter anazungumza habari ya new identity na ninapenda hii kwa sababu apostle John anazungumza katika kile kitabu cha Yohana 11 fungu la 12 ya kwamba wote waliompokea aliwapa uwezo wa kuwa watoto wa Mungu. Na hapa ndipo tunapopaswa kubadilisha identity yetu. Mahali fulani unapojihisi huko inferior, you are not inferior, you are a chosen generation. Wewe umechaguliwa. Wewe you have an identity. 
wewe uko 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 mtu tofauti kabisa petro anasema once you are not a people once you are not a generation wewe haukua haukua chochote you are nothing wewe ukua kitu for those of you wale ambao wamefanya history african history watagundua habari ya slave trade watazungumza watazungumza how europe underdeveloped africa watazungumza 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 habari ya ya the way the way europe and the way uh, west africans uh, west countries the way they took raw materials that were raw materials from africa watazungumza the way how wazungus treated us so much badly taking our 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 our, our industrious people people who can be able to produce people with the muscles people with the power the people with the energy they were taken to america kwenye mashamba they were taken to asia kwa ile domestic domestic job all sorts of odd job they were given to africans lakini we have a new identity in christ tuna 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 utambulisho mpya na hii identity is not determined by education the new identity is not determined by politician is not determined by international international stakeholders is not determined by international community it is divinely determined anasema you are a chosen generation so there's about five or six or seven things number one, our identity we are completely accepted in jesus we are completely accepted regardless of your background regardless of where you are coming from regardless from you of you are of you are of you are of your society of your community of your tribe of your clan kwa sababu hata katika tribes zetu kuna upper class and lower class there are some people who feel themselves superior than others in different tribes in the africa go and ask your daddy go and ask your grandpa go and ask your grandma and they will always tell you unajua our clan is superior than others people clan lakini under the cross of calvary we are all equal under the cross of jesus everybody is equal if the, the ground on the under the cross of calvary is level there is no upper class there is no third class there is no low class in christ we are one we are accepted the way we are but number two, number two, we are extremely valuable sisi ni watu wa thamani sana we are extremely valuable think of this you are a holy nation a people belonging to god sisi ni watu watakatifu bwana unajua the way you define yourself is the way that you will determine your life wewe uki, uki, ukiona wewe ukiona kwamba wewe ni mtu punguadi mtu mjinga kwa maneno ya vijana kama wewe ukijiona ni pala utafanya vitu vya kifala ukijiona wewe kabwela utafanya vitu vya kabwela kwela lakini ukijiona wewe ni mtu wa thamani it will always it will change the whole of you itabadilisha maisha yako yote the way you dress the way you talk the way you interact the way you transact your business the way you school the way you go to school the way you study kwa sababu you are bad or good you to be I see my man I am not talking of elevate yourself I'm talking of your worth you are extremely valuable you are the whole nation God is your father and Jesus paid it all number 3 your identity you are internally and externally loved if there is something that has been misunderstood it is love so many people have been tormented 
So many people have been mistreated out of what we call love. Eh, especially young people, mtu tu anakuambia I don't love you anymore. Alafu mwingine anafikiri kwenda kujinyonga. So, kwa sababu tu mla mahindi fulani ya kuchoma hapo amekuambia I don't love you anymore. Unaenda kujinyonga. Why? Why do we do that? That because of someone who is eating chapati and the maziwa is telling you I don't love you anymore. You are externally and internally loved. Mungu anakupenda. And if God loves you, that's enough. Hao wengine hao wengine ni wa ni watu wa ovyo tu. Since you are a son and you are a child of God, you are a daughter of God. Mungu anakupenda na kama anakupenda, that's all. That's all you need. Hao wengine wote hata wasipokupenda, God loves you. Some of us hatuna wazazi but we have our father in heaven who is internally and forever god huyo yupo mungu wa milele habadiliki hapatikani na mauti there's nothing to fear if he loves me that's all naye ananipenda na ananiambia you are my son wewe ni mwanangu wote waliompokea aliwapa uwezo wa kufanyika watoto wa Mungu. In fact, in Greek ile neno uwezo it's not uwezo, it's a privilege that after accepting Jesus as your personal savior, you are privileged to become daughter and son of God. Unapendwa. Number four, your identity. You are completely forgiven. Umesamehewa. umesamehewa at one point you did not go no god's mess but now you have received the mess god has forgiven him it changes everything even if your pastors has not forgiven him the church board has not forgiven him your parents have not forgiven your teachers have not forgiven your school management have not forgiven him, but god has forgiven him and that makes a great change hiyo inakuletea mabadiliko makubwa sana. Inakuletea mabadiliko makubwa sana. Na kama amekusamea inatosha. Maybe in next time tutazungumza habari ya kitu kinachoitwa time. Kwa sababu yako mambo ya Mungu na kuna mambo yako. There some God provide opportunities. But the success depends on how we use those opportunities. Mungu anatusamee na anatufanya kuwa wapya. Na if God makes you a new creature, what do you do with your new creation? Unafanyaje na hiyo new creation yako? Waenda siku nyingine tutapata time tutazungumza habari ya God's timing, tutazungumza habari ya timing. Eh, hamtakuwa vijana all the time. You will not be young people forever. The old chaps of today they were young people of yesterday. The old people of today they were celebrities of 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 some years ago am tabakia kwa vijana all the time what do you do with the time that god has given you this time this place at this point in time what do you do with your time god has forgiven you then what mungu amekusamehe and i can still hear jesus voice when he was telling when he was telling those people go and sin no more I like that. Sema nenda na usifanye dhambi tena. Go and sin no more. Yaani wakati wewe bado unafikiria kwamba fulani huyu bwana huyu afai huyu huyu alifanya huyu alifanya jambo fulani yesterday. Kwa sababu siku zote wanadamu we pile up files on yesterday and so many years ago. Lakini Mungu akikusamea amekusamea. If he has forgiven you, he has forgiven you. No condition, no what he has paid it all. And I say my son my daughter you have been forgiven go and sin no more Napenda hiyo Number 5 Number 5 Your identity you are full capable Kumbuka you are royal priesthood You are capable Unaweza Unaweza Ninarudia tena unaweza. 
capability that is not determined, capability that is not determined by, by color or race or nationalities or tribe. Capability is only your mindset. You are capable. The fact that you are African is not, it doesn't mean that you are not capable. The fact that you are Tanzanian, Aina Mada, Yakomba, who is it? The fact that you are young man, Sikomba, Aina Mada, Tena, let me tell you, ni waonye, na ni waonye mapema, mkama Paulo alivyo mwambia Timoteo, angalia mtu wa siudharao ujana wako. Next time, maybe I'll tell you my testimony. Nimekuwa the youngest pastor, Liliaza kazi kama the youngest pastor in the, in the city. 204. I was the young, youngest pastor in the city. Too young. Sasa hivi hata bado watu wananiona kijana tu, lakini I'm not that young. <laughs> lakini Liliaza nikiwa kijana kabisa. Uh, na watu wengi walikuwa nafikiri, walikuwa wana nidharao. Lakini sikukubali kwa dharao wika. My friends, msikubali watu wa wadharau, you are capable. Identity yako ya ujana is a sense of incapability. Isiku, isikulete inferiority complex. Isikulete, isikulete low esteem. Don't be low esteem because of your youth. Because of your young age. You can still make it. Bado unaweza kufanya mambo makubwa. You are capable. Because kwa nini uko capable? Wewe ni uzao wa kifalme. Your capability comes from God. Ninapenda ule wimbo unasema God sent his son. He called Jesus. Sema because he lives I confess tomorrow. Ngoja ni utafute hapa. God sent his son they called him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my savior's lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And his life is worthy living just because he lives. And then one day I will cross the river. I'll fight life, final war with pain, and then as the death gives me way to victory, I'll see. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Mungu wa bariki ni saa tatu daka kubina mbili. Mwenye swali. Jemani, tunakabisha maswali, tunakabisha maswali. Nemen soka karibu, karibu kwa swali. Nemen soka karibu kwa swali. Awe boisha kubati mba. Anyway, basi bina karibu kwa swali. Chris bina karibu kwa swali. Oh, ah. Nisi Chris soka na ntangulia. Basi. Pastor, thank you. Thank you for your... Thank you for your for your presentation. It was very interesting. Na na maswali mawili. I hope yeah, I'm not here. Okay. Na, na maswali mawili. The first one um, to do with identity. There are two concepts kwenye kwenye hili swali la la identity. Na na firi kwenye kwenye presentation yako mayazungumzia yote mawili. And my question is. How do we find the balance between accepting our identity, Kubali that this is my identity, this is who I am, um, and also um, not being a prisoner to your identity, to mean that um, 
also striving to improve who you are. Almost you could believe to even even don't believe I cannot do anything about it. You should also strive to improve who you are. How do we strike? How do we strike the difference or, or the balance between these two extremes? Um, Lapili, the 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 title of your of your presentation is your I your identity determines your destiny. Um, and and my question is then how do we how do we dovetail that with the understanding we have as as Christians, as Adventists and as Christians, that um, even though we have a certain identity, if we submit ourselves to God, He can He can change our 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 destiny, um, regardless of what we perceive our identity to be. Thank you. Asante sana, asante sana. Asante sana Chris, umezungumza habari ya striking the balance between accepting accepting ourselves uh who we are and uh and uh and uh, the, the the question of balance. Ni kwamba mara nyingine we are bound we are prison of ourselves. Badala ya kuwa ya kuchukua changamoto tulizonazo accepting who we, who you are but not be imprisoned don't be a prisoner of your circumstances nilitoa kisa cha yule binti ambaye ame grow beard na mwisho akatamani hata kujua lakini mwisho akajikubali na maisha yakaendelea na akaendelea kuimprove maisha yakaendelea kama utagundua ile 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 layer ya ile layer ya tano if you will uh, if you will uh, recall the the fourth uh, yeah the fourth layer resolver consciously somebody who is consciously desires to self growth kwamba from where you are unaweza kusema ya kwamba yes mimi niko hivi lakini i can be better utakuta kuna wale watu wanaoomba omba barabarani ni ni disabled wale watu wale mavu lakini kuna wale mavu ambao they are doing better they drive nice cars they have mansions wanafanya vizuri sana sasa hawa watu ni watu mmoja ameamua kujikubali alivyo na akasema maisha lazima yaendelee mwingine akaacha kujikubali akawa mfungwa wa identity yake. Kwa hiyo usifungwe kama identity yako ni bovu. Badili in Christ Jesus you can change. Nizungumuze hii swali la pili ulilosema habari ya Nikumbushe umezungumza habari ya kuna balance na hii ya 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 eh ya pili nilikuwa naangalia title the very title of your of your presentation. Yes. Kwamba unasema your identity determines your destiny. Nikasema uh-huh. now how, how how do we dovetail that with our understanding as Christians? Kwamba regardless of what our identity is or our circumstances are, when we accept Jesus and we place our lives in 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 God's hands, he can change our our identity. So how 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 do we dovetail these these two these two concepts? Aha, tunapomkubali Kristo identity yetu inakuwa ndani yake. Lakini most of us regardless of what we have yes we have accepted Jesus. Lakini do we really live in the values of Christianity? Tunaishi katika mayo zingira ya Kikristo. Yuko mtu hapa amempokea Kristo lakini lakini bado ana 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 anazungumza kushindwa anazungumza medioka kind of life lakini kristo kumbuke kwamba tuna vijana wa kiadventista na hata wa adventista wengine ambao wanafikiri kuishi old age ndio ukristo na ndio 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 utakatifu ndio maana nikakwambia hapa nikazungumzia habari ya mtu ambaye bado anatumia simu ya tochi wakati watu wa migrate kutoka simu simu jinga kwenda simu janja yeye bado anasema 
simu yangu ya tochi i can become more holy when i have analog analog headset kuliko ambavyo ningekuwa na ningekuwa na smartphone mwingine anaweza kuwa kama myahudi anasema if i get smartphone nitakuwa close to close kufanya dhambi wao afadhali nikae na kitochi i will not sin sasa <laughs> kuwa ndani ya kristo ya kale yamepita yamekuwa mapya kuwa na improved life haina maana wewe ni mtu ulimwengu ni mtu wa ulimwengu you can have improved life you can be educated you can be a political leader you can be a civil servant like daniel like joseph yet bado ukawa mtu utakaye tunza identity yako ndani ya kristo amen amen thank you pastor mwingine karibu kwa swali kama kuna mtu nemens ulinyosha mkono je uko tayari kuuliza nemens soka no na yupo nipende kukaribisha mtu mwingine mwenye swali karibu kama kuna swali karibu mwenye swali Yaani amna mwenye swali. Karibu. Mwenye swali. Karibu mwenye swali. Pasta naona sijui topic kimeeleweka vizuri. Nadhani presentation imeeleweka vizuri. Ah okay, naona Busara Chiza. Kuna mambo mawili tu. Kuna kuna mambo mawili tu. Either imeeleweka eh. vizuri Eh. Ama haija leo kabisa. Ni Busara hapa amenyosha mkono. Busara karibu kwa swali. Karibu Busara. Asali yangu ni dogo tu. Kwanza nashukuru sana kwa kipindi. Nimekuwa ya waifu kuuliza vipindi kama hivi jioni. Kwao nimeshukuru kusikia leo. Kwa hiyo kwanza kati kujua nimemsikia mtangazaji akisema kitakuwa na kipindi kingine atazungumza juu ya gas signing au the concept of kwa nataka kujua ni lini labda tuwe to look for to that okay uh, pasta nadhani hilo hilo tutaliweka sawa na then tuta aya wa pasta unajua hii unajua ratiba yako ndio inabana eh Ah tutapanga tu hata kama ni mwakani utatokea. <laughs> anyway, tutawajuza tutaongea tutaweka vizuri na pasta lakini vipindi hivi huwa vipo kila Ijumaa saa mbili Jumamosi saa mbili na Jumapili saa mbili So tukati ya wiki ijayo tutaangalia wiki ijayo pasta kama atakuwa na muda then tutakuwa na hiyo session tutaeleweka sawa then tutawajuza so cha msingi tu ni kuwa tutatoa matangazo so kuwa tu makini kufuatilia nadhani imeleka kiko karibu uh, kwa kwanza ni mshukuru pasta kwa presentation nzuri alisema uh, amechelewa kuandaa slides sasa uh, andaye alafu akutumie wewe ili na siku zitupate siweze kuongeza hiyo 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 knowledge. Okay. Ah, uh, ila pili sio swali kimsingi lakini ni um, naona tuna kwenye kanisa letu la wasabato tuna tuna miss sana hivi vitu. Kupata hizi presentation. Mimi nimeita nimeita pure gospel kabisa kwa namna ambavyo nimemsikiliza mchungaji. Pengine ndio mm. injili ambayo <clears throat> watu wa kizazi chetu wanahitaji kuijua zaidi ni kwamba ile injili ya Petro kutembea juu ya maji ni mbaya lakini hii kama hii ya kujitambua na nini inafundishwa lakini inafundishwa katika namna ambayo pengine uh, kwa, kwa sasa kama vile hai hai pengine hizi kwa type kama hii ambayo pasta anaifanya pengine ingekuwa msaada zaidi kwa sababu kwa nini wasione hasa katika mapema wetu ya vijana pengine miongozo imeshakuwa ni ile ile ya ni miaka na miaka na miaka na pengine hata updates za miongozo inafanyika 
pengine bila kuzingatia hali halisi ya, ya jinsi dunia jinsi ilivyo katika dunia ya kisasa cha leo kwa sababu swala la identity ni swala ambalo naligundua kwamba ukigundua asilimia tisini ya, ya vijana ambao wanaingia chuo natoka nyumbani o level i mean a level tukiwa na identity ya ukristo lakini once tunapoingia chuoni tunapoteza hiyo identity kabisa ni wachache sana ambao wanabaki kuwabaki na hiyo identity na, na kujionyesha hiyo namna sasa unaweza kugundua katika swala hilo tu la dini watu wanapoteza identity kiasiko je katika mambo mengine watu wanaweza kuwa wanapoteza identity kiasi gani pengine haya masomo ni wakati mui, ni wakati mzuri sasa kama vile tunapokuwa kwa na tunapokuwa na mahubiri ya ushindi ya timai nyumbani ya timai tuwe na hizi semina ambazo zinatupa zinatupa haya madarasa ya maisha ambayo kimsingi tunahitaji kuwa nayo ili kuweza tunapo improve maisha yetu ya kawaida pia itakuwa ni rahisi ku improve maisha yetu ya kiroho kwa sababu sioni kama haya hizi perspective mbili zina zinatofautiana kwa kiasi kikubwa tunahitaji yes injili ya wokovu lakini pia tunahitaji injili hii kuweza kubadilisha maisha yetu kwa sababu leo mimi nikibadilisha maisha yangu mtazamo wangu juu ya kile ninachokiamini katika maisha ya kawaida huenda itabadilisha mfumo wangu na namnaje wapatanaji wa kipato namna ya kusoma kwangu na mwisho wa siku nitasaidia kanisa katika namna moja au nyingine so vijana wengi sana wanakuwa wanapoteza identity zao hasa wanapoingia mafioni mitaani huku watu wanapotea kabisa yani hawajulikani huyu ni mkristo sio mkristo na mwisho wa siku mtu anakuwa anapoteza hata destination ila mimi destiny ambayo alikuwa pengine au tuna, tuna desire mtu afike friends hapo yani kwenye masuala yanapokuja kwenye masuala vijana tutakuja kwenye makambi ya vijana tupunguze hizi nishani siku za viura nishani siku za samaki siku nishani na nini then tujikite katika maisha haya hmm. ya toni ni kizungumza habari ya kuzungumza habari ya ndio kwa watu kusei Mm. Ni ni hivi kwamba muda ile chari inapaswa kuwa ya ya, ya kama siku mbili. Mm. Na kitu tumeifinya ikitu kwenye kwenye dakika isichache. Mm. Utagundua kwamba uh, kuna identity zinapaswa kuwa improved na kuna identity zinapaswa kuwa maintained. Okay. Utakuta kijana kuna na nina ushuhuda hata hasa mimi mwenyewe hasa mimi mwenyewe nina nimeishi mazingira ambayo nilizungukwa na watu na wengine ni marafiki wanakunywa pombe lakini mimi sikunywa pombe nimezungukwa na marafiki ambao walikuwa wengine wanakuta sigara na kufuta bangi lakini mimi sikuta sigara wala sikuta bangi eh, kwa hiyo kwa mfano kile kitu ambacho watu wanazungumza kwamba bwana wewe ukifuatana na huyu na wewe utakuwa hivyo it only rely on how you hold fast how you hold fast your identity ukishajua identity yako utaishi kulingana na value zako unazo unazojua unaweza kuishi katikati ya walevi na usiwe mlevi kwa sababu you have an identity lakini kama huna identity ukiwa kariako utakuwa mtu wa kariako ukiwa ubungo utakuwa mtu wa ubungo ukiwa arusha utakuwa mtu wa arusha ukiwa mbea utakuwa mtu wa mbea ukiwa mwanza utakuwa mtu wa mwanza kwa sababu you don't have identity kwa hiyo every one and any one can be five a new identity hmm. kwa mtu yote anaweza kukupa identity hata mtu tu mjinga mjinga hivi anaweza kukudrive akakupa identity leo mimi all of us sisi tunajua what is happening in the country people are moving from one political party to another that is the that is the misuse of identity kwa sababu when you talk of political party you are talking of najua nina i know ninazungumza a very a very challenging very challenging whatever talking of a very challenging very challenging topic kwa vijana lakini one of these days you need to maybe you need to put it on hata kama sio mimi na represent na naomba isiwe nini find another guy who will speak on it about Christianity and politics sawa lakini kuna kuna anatoka from one party to another just like that a young man kwa sababu tunazungumza habari tunapozungumza ya 
habari ya party tunapozungumza habari ya political party you are talking about anyway, mimi ni social scientist mimi nimefanya public administration and political science uh, when you talk of a party you are talking of of, of, of unazungumza habari ya itikadi ideology unazungumza what you believe sasa hata tunapozungumza dini mimi nitashangaza sana mwa adventist ambaye leo eti kwa sababu ya ya kuchaguliwa kwa sababu ya ujeuzi anaacha imani aende kanisani eti kwa sababu ameteuliwa huo ni ujinga eti kwa sababu tu umepewa ukuu wa wilaya kanisani mweni eti kwa sababu umepewa tu uteuzi sio kitu gani siku hizi hata tukoni kwenye lesson hauwa kanisani nasema eti una majukumu ya kitaifa what that is nonsense huo ni ujinga hiyo ina maana hata kama ulipo hata ulipo kwa kanisani ulikuwa hauna identity anachosema chiko is very difficult vijana tunapaswa kuwa na our true identity regardless of whatever circumstances may come on our way lazima tuwe makini na identity Asante pasta kwa hiyo. Pasta kuna changamoto moja nimepokea hiyo lakini kuna changamoto moja. Unakutana na kijana anakuambia kuna ule msemo ukienda kwa wagalilaya unatakiwa uwe kama wao. Ukienda wapi ubehave kama wao. Ambapo imepelekea kiasi kwamba vijana wengine wameshindwa hata ku develop their own values. Sasa kama kijana kuna mwingine ajui hata values ni nini. Yaani utamsaidiaje kutengeneza zile values ili aweze kuwa na identity yake? how to develop that identity changamoto ni hapo kwa mfano nini wengi wengi hapa najua mko jioni na wengine hata mko kazini na wengine mko kwenye relationship kuna hii meaning ya society ambayo ninaona hata topic zenu nyingi mara nyingine zinalenga relationship na mm. uncle bu hapa anakuwa hapa presentation pale pale anazungumza sasa mm. most of the of the of the vitu vingi sada society inavyozungumza habari ya relationship mtu anaweza kufikiri kwamba na hii sasa ndio ina inashangaza ina kwamba mtu anafikiri kwamba hakuna urafiki salama kati ya kijana na binti mm. lakini that is the definition of society kwa nini kwa nini ukubali kwa nini ukubali jamii ikupi kudefine kwa nini ukubali definition ya jamii kwa nini usihisi kulingana na definition yako mm. kwa mfano mtu akionekana ba anafikiri kwamba watu wameenda kwa mabombe lakini baa kuna huduma nyingi baa kuna chakula siku hii mmm don't let's start ile mtu akikaa baa kuna kuna mabombe kama uwezi kusema kama uwezi kusema hapana kwa jambo fulani wewe huwezi kusema hapana kwa lolote ni lazima uweze kusema no to some things ili u maintain your identity sasa kuna watu wanatifwa wana yaani kuna watu ambao wana identity yao inanunuliwa kwa pesa, kwa kingine identity yao inanunuliwa kwa kwa simu, identity yao ina, ina yani ana, ana price tag, amefika bei. Ukutafikaje bei kirahisi? Haiwezekani, bado ukike bei kirahisi bana. Wewe 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 sio nani bana, wewe sio Infinix wala Tecno bana. Wewe ni wewe yako ni ya juu sana, ni damu ya Yesu. Kwa nini ufike bei bana? <laughs> Jamaa zangu naomba msifike bei. <laughs> Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo ndio tunapozungumza ya vali ni kwamba eh Martin Luther Martin Luther yule yule mwana wa matengenezo the great reformer of 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 the Germany aliwahi kusema akasema if you don't have a cause to die for then you don't have a cause to live for Yaani kama una jambo la kulipambania mpaka mwisho na si wewe una jambo la kulipambania wewe baina yako tu mbure ni lazima ujue kusema hapa pana hiki ndio hiki kiko within my values na hiki kiko out of my values period that's all lakini ukiwa unayumbishwa kama bendera kwa taupe leo kwa pande hii kesho kwa pande ile kesho kwa pande ile nyingine una onditi unaweza ukawa galilaya bado values zako zikawepo na bado ukabakia kama ulivyo. Na wakajua kwamba wewe you have your principle. I've not mimi mimi nimefanya nimefanya business deal, nimefanya business kadhaa hata na watu ambao sio wanipendezi. Lakini they know they will not call me on Sabbath. 
kwa sababu mm-hmm. wanajua kwamba i don't need to accept anything from somebody mm-hmm. hiyo ni values zangu ni lazima uweke your values ahead of you hata kama unafanya kazi na wakorinto unafanya kazi na warumi lazima warumi wajue kwamba hapa kuna unafanya naye kazi hapa na kijana yuko principal inafanya naye kazi na hiyo hiyo itatosha ita na hiyo itakudefine hiyo una maisha yataendelea na itakuwa rahisi mbona waislamu wanafunga wanafunga maduka yao wakati wa masali na wote tuna wote tunakubali tunakubali hata na maisha yao wamefunga maduka and we don't go and buy because sasa hapa umeenda kuswali why can't it happen to us Sawa <laughs> pasta. Ni mbona Busara Chisa amenyosha tena mkono? Ama huu ni mkono ule ule ama ni swali tena? Karibu Busara. Sorry, huu ni ule ule mbona ni sisi. Okay, msao Anyway, asante sana pasta kwa kwa la new hiyo nzuri. Na Robert ameniambia hapa na swali. Robert karibu. Robert Chisa. Karibu Robert. Pasta nashukuru sana kwa kwa mada ya leo imenibariki lakini nilikuwa na swali kidogo na swali langu hii mada kidogo imenipelekea to think about my my, my life kipindi ambacho nilikuwa nakuwa I somehow thought the type of person that I should be na wakati fulani ambapo nilikuwa chuo na nilipomaliza chuo nikaanza nika kurefresh kwamba kipindi kile ambacho kwa napanga kwamba I need to be this type of person among the right stroke nikajikuta kwamba nimeshaanza ku mess up na step lakini sasa swali langu ni kwamba kwa 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 sisi ambao wakati mwingine tunatambua tuna, tuna identity zetu ni changamoto zipi ambazo zinatukabili zina mpaka tupelekee sisi kuhusu zile identity ambazo tunakuta kuhusu zile identity zetu zile changamoto ambazo tunakuta zinatukabili sisi zinaweza kupelekea sisi kuhusu identity yetu lakini swali la pili sasa katika changamoto inakuwa zimetayari zimesha tupata na tumuuza identity zetu how should we come back to identity how should we understand that we have messed up and we should go back to identity okay sasa hiyo mnanipa 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 changamoto tena kama ya mnanipa changamoto ya kufanya extension ya somo ni moderator atajua kwamba uh, should we also come back kwenye lakini nieleze hili kwamba mimi ni wa, ni waambie vijana da nina wa challenge sana we can make a lot of difference ulimwengu wa leo unahitaji game changers inahitaji nina nina watoto wawili nina watoto wawili wa kiume na binti mmoja Wote ni wape hii scenario. Hao watoto wawili wa kiume wanapenda mpira. Na huyo mdogo anapiga mpira. Mimi sio mchezaji wa mpira sana ila kaka yangu alikuwa mchezaji mzuri. Eh ila mimi ninaangalia mpira na sina sina timu ninayo hii. Sio shabiki wa timu lakini ninaifurahia Yanga. Mimi sio shabiki wa timu lakini <laughs> Christian anacheka. <laughs> Sio shabiki wa timu lakini ana ifurahia ya na na hata huko Ulaya mimi sio shabiki wa timu lakini na na ufurahia Chelsea. Kwa hiyo basta. Kwa hiyo Tunazungumza identity hapo sasa haya ni mambo ya vijana ambayo pasta akizungumza anaweza aka <laughs> Basta <laughs> anaweza akizungumza anaweza aka akaonekana kwamba inaonekana <laughs> kwamba ah huyu pasta bwana vipi lakini ndio maisha hayo Sasa hao <laughs> vijana wangu wawili huyu mdogo anapenda mpira sana wakati fulani nikamta sana eh nikamwambia mke wangu nikamwambia huyu mtoto namtaka kumpeleka baadaye akikuwa nitataka kumpeleka shule ya ya, ya kucheza mpira ngambo akasema haiwezekani mtoto wa pasta hawezi kwenda ku ku mtoto wa mchungaji hawezi kwenda kucheza mpira nikamwambia kwa nini hawezi kucheza mpira sema mpira inachezwa siku ya sabato inachezwa ijumaa jioni sabato imeingia nikamwambia no 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 si lazima acheze siku ya sabato wala afanye mazoezi siku ya sabato anaweza akawa mchezaji mpira maarufu 
akaenda mpaka vilabu vya Ulaya akacheza ligi kubwa Premier League za UEFA huko Bonda Seneca akapiga mpira na akaleta hela na zaka na sadaka na yeye asikeze sababu sasa wenda hata kwa wengine hapa wataniona kama huyu pasta vipi umeona anakuwa kama huyu pasta haukamu huyu anauza timu <laughs> lakini it's possible unaweza unaweza kuwa mchezaji wa mpira mtu za sabato nzuri kabisa unaweza kuwa mchezaji wa mpira na ukatunza sabato na dunia nzima ikajua kwamba yuko mchezaji mtu za sabato na anayefunga magoli inawezekana usikadiri tu kwamba watu wanaweza kuhubiriwa matayo saba msari wa saba watu wanaweza kuhubiriwa kwa namna nyingi sana ya maisha ninyi mmekariri kwamba lazima watu wafunguliwe gomu somo letu la leo ubatizo ndio mnahubiri watu mazama <laughs> zimebadilika mazama zimebadilika zinaweza unaweza kumhubiri naweza ikaitwa tunaweza kukabuni mbinu mmoja leo kwa soka evangelism soka evangelism sio kazi kwa ndio kuna habari ya communication evangelism kutumia media kutoka rafiki yangu chiko ni mtu wa media eh kutumia media kutumia youtube yes. Hivi karibuni lazima tuwe na wachezaji mpira wa kisabato ambao watakuwa na soka evangelist. Kwa hiyo ninachozungumza hapa ni kwamba mimi ni wanatie changamoto ya kwamba mnaweza kubadilisha ulimwengu kwa namna mnavyo identify kulingana na hali yoyote. Lakini if it happens kwamba umemesa hapo kwenye identity yako bado unaweza kurudi. Bado unaweza Mungu anaweza kukupa hiyo hili ndio jambo jema kusema na neema ya neema ya Mungu ni kubwa sana think of Paul who used to persecute God's people but he eventually he was transformed completely to a new person think of David akimwambia Mungu niumbie niumbie moyo safi niumbie moyo safi na roho iliyotulia ndani yangu niumbie moyo safi kwa hiyo kwa hiyo you can you can change from that unaweza kubadilisha identity yako na Kristo anatupatia a new identity Mungu awabariki Pastor Pastor kuna 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 swali hapa naomba nimkaribishe Irene Irene ana swali Eh jamani tutoke kwenye soka kidogo ma alikuwa anatoa mfano Sasa Irene Irene karibu Irene karibu kwa swali Irene karibu hey, karibu kwa swali ya Irene Arin hey, okay basta tuna changamoto kuna wengine hawana courage ya kuongea uh, uh, lakini ameandika hapa naomba nilisome naomba nilisome Anaandika swali lake. Anasema pastor, for what part of your of your identity do you feel you receive privilege for most often? Mm. Sijapata hebu hebu nieleze vizuri. Amesema hivi, pastor, for what part of your identity Do you feel you ref, you receive privilege for most often? Ah, sasa I get the value values in a in a values in a in a values in a in a in a in a in a in a tegemea mtu ana ana subscribe to which values. It depends that you are una subscribe from una subscribe subscribe to the values that kwa sababu kuna wale ambao unaweza kusubscribe kwenye values ambazo za kupoteza. Yaani zinakupoteza. Kwa so zina, zinaleta tija. Na mimi I would suggest kwamba kama 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 unazungumza values unazungumza kile watu wanavyokuona. Kuna kuna toti kuna vitu vingi vinazungumza sana kwa sababu hizi hii mada ya ya, ya identity iko connected na so many mothers tumezungumza habari ya tumezungumza nimewapili nime point hapa kwa kitu kanako kwa timing 
lakini kuna kitu kinachoitwa emotional intelligence kila yoni wofa ninawapatia toni one of these days mnaweza kukaa na topic ya emotional intelligence eh, kuna watu ambao unaweza ukafikiri wanafuatwa na bahati lakini sio bahati eh, mimi ni watu ni, ni mtu ninaye nisee amini sana katika bahati siamini sana katika bahati Ninaamini katika hard work, ninaamini katika innovation and creativity, ninaamini katika emotional intelligence, ninaamini katika strategies, mikakati. Hakuna kitu inaweza kwa kila mtu anakuja na bahati yake. Unakujaje na bahati bila kufanya kazi? Hebu look around, kuna watu wanakuona sema bwana huyu bwana ameokota dodo kwenye ameokota dodo kwenye kuna wakati hapa tulikuwa tunasoma magazeti ya rais makula alipochaguliwa akasema wameokota dodo chini ya moyo lakini hebu hebu angalia go deeper ili magufuli resume angalia cv ya magufuli amekuwa amekuwa waziri for, for 20 years huyo mtu anaokotaje embe kwenye 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 embe kwenye 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 akaokota embe kwenye mkwaju huyu ni mtu amewa for that position hata kama bahati inakupata bahati ipatie huko kushi bahati inakupatia hata kama ungekuja ni wameki if you want to be given a lift if you want to be given a ride kama unapewa lift ya gari gari haiwezi kukufuata vichakati ni lazima uwe barabarani ili ili gari ikupate <laughs> wewe vipi bwana wewe bahati gari itakupata vichakati gari ikupate vichakati hivi basi ufike wewe kwa vichakati ili upate ride lazima ukae barabarani sasa kukaa barabarani hiyo sio fortune hiyo sio bahati umekaa rodini brother sister kaa barabarani lift ikukute hapo kwa hiyo ninapozungumza habari ya emotional intelligence eh ninapozungumza habari ya emotional intelligence ninazungumza habari ya ya kitu kinachoitwa wanakwambia hivi unaweza ukawa na akili sana ukafaulu sana lakini ukafeli kwenye emotional intelligence Emotional intelligence ni namna ya kuchukua hisia za na namna ya kuhusiana na watu wenye hisia tofauti. Kwa mfano, shuleni unakuta kuna mtu anagombana na watu. Yaani yeye grupu lolote akai. Yeye ni mgombi tu. Huyu anashinda emotional intelligence. Alafu kuna mtu yeye tu kazi yake ni kukasirika tu, anakasirika tu kirais. Yeye anakasirika. Si kama mmesha kutana na mtu alipo jamaa anakwambia wewe makini na wewe jamaa au mtu unahusiana naye alikuwa anakuuliza aise hivi unaishije sije na huyu na huyu mmeti wako unaishije sije kwa sababu huyo mtu ni mtata ni mtata sasa kuna watu ambao usipojua namna ya kurelate na watu na maisha ndio ile waswahili wanasema ongea na watu upate viatu <laughs> yani wewe ndio usipotoboa maisha hivi hivi kuna watu wana maisha yao wenyewe wenyewe. Hii hii zoom inawekwa hapa iko kwenye Instagram iko kwenye kila mahali alafu unakuta mtu hata halogin. Na ni kijana. Wewe utapata uta, uta, uta wapi? Utapata wapi connection? Life is all about network. Life is all about how do you mingle with people? How do you get network with people? Una, una usiana na watu. Emotional intelligence sasa value zako zitakujengea na una unavyo kuhusiana na watu namna unavyo unavyo guide wa emotional intelligence namna unavyo kuhusiana na kila mmoja kwa mfano mimi ni mwongeaji sana that is my weakness lakini ninapohusiana na mtu nina the precaution kwamba okay nisiwe mwongeaji sana let me here kutoka kwa mtu nijifunze pia kutoka kwa mtu mwingine kwa mfano leo leo mjioni nilikuwa kwenye kwenye zoom meeting ya watu wengine huko America wanazungumza baki na soto racial inequalities social injustice ya watu weusi lakini mimi sijui mambo ya weusi nimekaa tu pale nasikiliza nakaa unasikiliza watu wanapiga lecture na unachukua notes mbili tatu maisha endelea unaangua single unasemaje kutoka TZ tukuambia sisi tu tutaendelea tunachapa kazi corona imeisha tunasoma tu semi na sio ya kwako unaongea sana mwisho atakwambia single tusimuingize tena kwenye kwenye zoom yetu atatuharibia mood hiyo ni emotion intelligence lazima ujue mahali pa kuongea na mahali pa kunyamaza lazima ujue mahali pa kuweka comment na mahali pa kutoweka comment lazima ujue bosi wako natumaini mnasoma kile kitabu cha mtu anaitwa Robert Greene 
kama huna une whatsapp nikupatie kitabu kinaitwa cha robert green kinaitwa 48 laws of power hiyo ni moja emotional intelligence 48 laws of power law number 1 anasema never outshine your master usimzidi bosi wako yani wewe uko chini ya bosi alafu wewe ndio unataka utoe ripoti utahepwa utahepwa lazima ujue chain of command <laughs> lazima ujue chain of command hizo ni values lazima ujifunze <laughs> eh wewe uko chini uko chini ya bosi yako lakini kamera ikija ya TBC1 wewe ndio unataka kukaa mbele utoe ripoti unajua kitendo hichi na hapa nakwambia hivi nakwambia utawekwa store utawekwa store utatokea hata siku moja na you will not be recommended tunazunguza habari ya emotional intelligence Tony nitaongea sana sana hapa mambo yote mtataka tena tuwe na mada nyingine. Siku nyingine let's start. Ah ya, ila pasta sasa mara moja mara moja mara moja. Ma, e, e, ya mwisho, tatizo wanaandika Kiingereza kingi. Sasa pasta anasema there are still people who work who work very very hard. They have emotional intelligence to an extent that most of people adore you adore you they are strategic and have all their plans planned out but still they have go through all thoughts of storms to succeed if they aren't unlucky meaning sio bahati maybe shida inakuwa ni nini wewe ni kwambie kitu pamoja na kuweka make work hard pamoja na kuweka hard tony ndio kuda hard work na shida hawajai kutua kilikuwa wala pita Sante. Punda hard workers. Sasa, instead of yes work hard but also work smart. <laughs> work hard but also work smart. Punda are working hard but they are not working smart. Ndio maana jamii ya Punda hawajanunua fuso tangu wameanza kubeba bibi. Ya bibi ni luggages. Sasa hivi they are, I don't know which generation lakini Munda they are entitled to beba mzigo all the time and they are hard workers na ndio mpaka wanatungiwa statement inasema punda have mzigo wa bwana ufike lakini they have not got kiriku hata boda boda hata aguta what is yard kwamba pamoja na kuwa hard which i believe about working hard but i also believe about working smart do you work smart unasoma ndio unasoma wili upate nini nani alikwambia kwamba kusoma ni kusucceed wako maprofesa wengi lakini they are not successful unaweza kusoma ukajua kiingereza mpaka ukatoboa ukuta lakini you are not successful unaweza ukaenda everywhere ulimwengu mzima ukawa na all the exposures ulionayo you are not successful kwa sababu haujajua ngoja nikwambie kitu mama waita anazungumza katika kitabu kile cha Patrick the Prophet mama waita anazungumza akizungumza habari ya Daniel anazungumza anasema hivi Mungu anatupatia fursa. God provide opportunities. Success depends on how we can use those opportunities. Mungu anatupatia fursa. Mafanikio yanategemea fursa tutakazo zipata. Nataka kuambia kuzaliwa Tanzania na Afrika ni fursa. Utaitumiaje fursa hiyo ufanikiwe. Wahindi wanakuja hapa na briefcase lakini wanakuta land wanakuta watu and they become successful sisi tumezaliwa hapa hapa we have land we have access to everything do you know kwamba wahindi wananunua uraia wa Tanzania so much expensive wakati sisi wenyewe tuna despise kwa wa Tanzania kwa hiyo nina 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 what i'm telling you brothers and sisters Tony, nikushukuru kwa kuendeleka kwenye hii forum and i wish that i get more time next maybe next time ili nizungumze na vijana kwa sababu mimi mimi ni mdau wa maendeleo na mafanikio ninatamani vijana wetu wa kiadventista wafanikiwe tuache kuishi maisha ya medioka tuache kuishi maisha ya kia ya kunga unga tuishi maisha fully ya, ku, ya kumtegemea Mungu na bado kufanikiwa we read about Abraham we read about Jacob we read about about Job who was was rich who was successful we read about King David we read about Daniel we read about Joseph why can't we write our own history right now and our testimony right now ili generation to comes waje waseme here lived a man who was successfully yet god fearing person mm.
Yes. That's powerful, Pastor. Mungu wa bariki. Jamani, Pastor Asante sana kwa wakati wako mzuri. Mungu akubariki. Na nadhani tutakuwa na muda mwingi sana na Pastor. Jamani, Pastor yeye ni mdau wetu sana, ni mdau sana wa, wa ma, maswala ya vijana. So, na ni mtu ambaye amejitoa. Tutakuwa naye, tutakuwa na session nyingine, tutakuwa na mada nyingi sana za kudiscuss. So tutaweka ratiba vizuri na pasta then tutarudisha pamoja. Pasta asante tulikuwa na session nzuri na hapa muda wetu umeisha exactly tulikuwa tunatumia 1 hour na 30 minutes almost 1 hour and a half discussion yetu na almost there sasa hivi ni tumetumia risali moja dakika 28. So tunaenda kufunga na kwa kufunga nipende Margaret Justin tafadhali tufungie kwa ombi. Margaret Justin tafadhali. Tufungie kwa ombi. Margaret Aya Siti Magesa tufunge kwa ombi Nona Margaret hapo wabari ni ingine Siti Magesa tufunge kwa ombi brando Auja mi mute Magesa Ok sawa Mungu etu ambinguni Tunakushukuru kwa kipindi ambacho Tumekuwa nacho Vile ambavyo tunaweza tuka fahamu utambulisho wetu na kujua maisha yetu yatakapokuwa. Tunakushukuru kwa yote ambayo tumejifunza, tunaomba utusaidie, tukayafanyie kazi, lakini tunakushukuru pia kwa mchungaji ambaye ametuelekeza. Tunamwombea baraka zako na kila ambaye amepata kipindi hiki Bwana utusaidie kikabadilisha maisha yetu katika dunia hii lakini zaidi kwa ajili ya ulimwengu unaokuja tumeuliza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo amina amina jamani muone na wakati mwema tutakutana wiki ijayo siku ya Ijumaa wiki ijayo siku ya Ijumaa mara umenyosha mkono na ume, umechelewa na muda umeisha tutakutana siku ya Ijumaa tutakuwa na session wiki ijayo Mungu wabariki muone na wiki yenye maendeleo Mungu azidi kuwa nani? Muwe na usiku mwema. Naam. Bado bado tunakudai recording sasa zitakuwa mbili au tatu. Hey, I see. Na hizi recording zote zinapatikana kwenye session yetu ya